recipe calls for one pound of Brussels sprouts, some butter, and it calls for Dijon mustard, but I'm not a fan of Dijon mustard, so I went with what I had in my refrigerator, which was Hickory Farms Sweet Hot Mustard. Of course, you can use any type of mustard that you like. There's so many gourmet ones. Next is some salt, freshly ground black pepper, water, and lastly, a large size mixing bowl. With a colander, you will give your Brussels sprouts a good rinse. Next, you'll trim off the bottom of the Brussels sprouts and cut them in half carefully. You can also peel back the first layer if you find any type of leaves that needs to be discarded. Add three tablespoons of butter. Okay, next you're going to add one and a half tablespoons of your Dijon mustard. But like I said, I instead use the Hickory Farms Sweet Hot Mustard. Now you can use any type of mustard really that you like. There's just so many variety of gourmet mustards out there. They even have like bacon mustard, jalapeno mustard, um, sweet mustard. This one was just absolutely delicious in this recipe. Add one four teaspoon of salt. One fourth teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. And lastly, one fourth cup of water. Now it's time to mix all the ingredients together. All that just wonderful, delicious flavors all getting in there. I was really mixing it very well in the mixing bowl, as you can see. I just wanted to make sure that all of the sprouts are covered with all of this just deliciousness. Okay, so now all we have to do is just toss all of that Brussels sprout goodness into your crock pot and then we're good to go. Cooking time is four to five hours on low or two to two and a half hours on high. So easy. Some of the Brussels sprouts may get a little brown on the sides of the crock pot and crispy. That's okay, don't worry about it. That's the delicious part. After four hours, voila! OMG, it smells amazing and it looks just pretty. This was definitely a pleaser and will be a keeper in my recipe book. It was so soft and tender with full of flavor. It was so good. I served it along with some baked red potatoes and fresh cloves of garlic with a dash of Italian dry seasoning, along with baked chicken, which I used a rub by Kenders called Tequila Lime Barbecue Rub. Yum. This was definitely an easy and a delicious type of way to cook Brussels sprouts. If you try it, let me know.
Enjoy!